G'day and welcome to Insights and Storytellings with me, Moon Willow. It's a real privilege and honour to have people watching this on a regular basis and I'm really enjoying the amalgamation of energies that's produced through doing it. Um, so today, um, there's been a couple of things. One is around um, pushing ourselves to our absolute limits and how that can exhaust us and we end up taking on too much sometimes um, and, and sometimes that's around being worth enough or trying to keep out of the energies. Um, the, yesterday I was talking about sort of like the, um, the feel of the increase in energies and it's it's almost sometimes within that if we get stuck or we're enjoying those too much we can end up not moving forward that it's almost like taking that deep breath to um figure out where to go next but we can end up as I say, getting stuck um, because our sort of un we have, can have an underlying fear that we may make a misstep and we may plunge into a darker area again, um, especially with the way that the energies feel at the moment, um, that it can become quite overwhelming. And actually, what's sort of just come into my mind is the rub it in the headlights um, so it's almost like as that higher energy comes in that it can produce that halt and and stopping and not knowing where to go next and if I step forward am I actually going to step out of this beautiful bliss feeling am I going to make a wrong move and it has that prickliness almost um, and it's a bit like yeah so at the moment it's almost like we're crossing a river and trying to get to the other side into a more harmonious world and each stepping stone across that darker flow has risks because we're not sure whether the footing is going to be okay whether we're actually going to make it to that next step um, and if we become too isolated, that we may not notice the help that is around us. Or we can get a sense that there is help, but we can't quite grasp where that's coming from. Or it's just out of reach, almost. Um, but it's not it's continuing to move and trusting trusting our footing trusting that we're going to be okay that actually if we want to take a break and just sit in the sunshine as it were in those higher frequencies that that that's okay but it's not to ignore the fact that that there are other things around that we do actually have to continue moving, that um, staying in one spot, even if it feels beautiful, um, is not necessarily healthy. And we can, as I say, we can push ourselves to such an extreme that we can get lost, just like I seem to have done in this storytelling so far. Because I'm trying to merge I feel that I'm trying to merge a lot of energies at the moment and I'm trying to juggle um, different aspects of my life and that can be quite tiring. So the temptation is that in that bliss moment of just staying um, and just saying, thinking that, yeah, no, it's okay to be here, which it is. But if we're not moving, we're missing out on future bliss moments. We're missing out on helping to co-create a world 
that is harmonious and connecting with all elements that we're connecting with the ground under our feet we're connecting with the trees we're connecting with each other we're connecting with the birds we're connecting with four leggeds so having and connecting with the with space as well so really connecting into the energies and if we're just taking one element it can actually send us out of balance elsewhere and we can end up pushing away the good as well as the bad because we don't want to we feel like we're not able to absorb any more sometimes um i don't know whether it's actually come out on any of them but there's been many a time in my life where i've sort of said stop the world i want to get off because it just feels so confusing sometimes and that's that's the basis basic essence of feel underneath at the moment is that there is a confusion it's knowing that things are due to come in but are they really um it's feeling sort of um having that sense and that feeling that everything is going to be okay and really enjoying that higher vibration but then um <clears throat> getting a bill in or um putting on the telly or looking at Facebook and being bombarded with negativity, with the fear programs, with other elements where things are shown as not okay. And as we pull back the veils and the curtains and look more closely at what's been going off, that what's going into the river that we're trying to cross, um, we can also get lost in that or we could end up looking into that too deeply and equally get stuck in that way. So it's that real balancing act, which I find at times quite difficult, um, that getting that sense, getting that anchoring within, really connecting into earth and source energy to feel supported as I move forward, as we all move forward. But within that as well as just noticing the people around us as well that can support us in that, that are able to meet us, meet us authentically, hear our concerns, not necessarily come up with an answer because we actually have the answers within. But there's times when we actually need to share with other people so that we can verbalize our concerns, verbalize um, the worries with from within, so that we can sift through it and get a real feel of that there is a way to walk forward, there is a way to move forward. Um, because as I say, we do have the answers, but if we get stuck within our heads or we get stuck just looking at one aspect, we we may miss the crucial bit that will actually help us move forward with joy and bliss and fullness and balance and it no longer becomes a juggling act that actually we can put it into its right spaces and make sense of it so i'm hoping that this is making sense so we'll pull a crystal and see Oop. so we've got carnelian again so very much in our creative space and trusting our gut so really focusing in on how we've already helped create the world that we've lived through that we've um, narrated um, up until this now moment and taking on board our part in that how we've sort of played it and really getting a sense of do we want to continue in that particular way or do we want to let go of some of our expectations and having awareness that the subconscious and unconscious mind are more likely, more inclined to manifest 
um, the world that we inhabit, our personal world, um, because I do feel that they run concurrently with other people. And there are times when we meet and that helps co-create a world that we inhabit. But if we have that sense, and I mean, I've been speaking a lot about um, the familiarity of having and the comfort in that familiarity of having a world that is full of stress, full of fear, that that's our norm. So we in, inadvertently keep creating that. We may move on a physical level or we may change our jobs or we may change our living space, countries we live in. But unless we actually look within and really get um, an idea of why something feels familiar and puts, it as, puts us at ease, even if it's a difficult situation to live in on, on another level, is really getting a sense of why we keep stepping into that. And a lot of the times is because somewhere along the line, we're taught not to trust our gut. We're taught not to trust our sacral emotional space. And within that, we actually, so we end up taking out, taking those same steps again and again and again. And we keep going around in those cycles again and again and again. But if we sit down or stand still for a brief moment and actually allow those higher energies to highlight um, the patterns that we keep creating, we can actually find a creative way to change those patterns to do something different. Because we get a sense that if we change our physical lives by moving house, moving jobs, that we are changing um, we're changing the environment enough, but what we're neglecting to do is really getting a look into what is it about it that feels so comfortable? Why does it feel so familiar? Because it makes sense. And there's times that even in that, times in making sense doesn't actually produce a healthy environment for us to live in. So it's, it's really that energy but as we take time to start looking, we can actually creatively change our internal space and our internal reactions so that we can create a different way to flow forward. So we don't necessarily have to change jobs or change houses, etc. But we can change our interactions with what's going off so that we can put out something else into the universe so that we can move forward in a manner that's more healthy and more nurturing than, than the ones that we perhaps have had in the past. So on that note, we'll see what cards come out. I'll try not to disturb the phone as I do this. So if you could focus the energy on the cards for me, I really appreciate it. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> I have that one on the top. <laughs> so the three cards today is the star, the coffin, and the moon. So we are the star. We are the star in our own stories, and that's the thing, and that's the key is recognising that we have the power. Shakespeare say, stated in one of his plays, all the world's a stage when we're merely but actors playing upon it. And that's the truth. We are basically characters in our own story, and but we are also the playwright. We write our own stories. We don't realise it. We take influences from so many different places, especially from childhood, etc., that informs the way that we write. It informs the way that we set up the scenes that we are entering into. And we actually encourage different support actors and walk-ons or walk-ins 
to to play their part um, but we are the star of our own play of our own story but it's remembering especially from the sacral space that we have the power and we have the ability to write the storyline that we want to have and the trick is is to actually believe it on all levels that it's not just on a surface level because we can parrot saying oh yeah I'm, I'm in control of my life but unless we truly believe that and have that full um, balance and harmony within on all levels including the conscious and unconscious levels as well we we misstep so it's almost like we have a bad director come in but we are the playwright we have got the ability to write the outcome of our story but it's spending time really feeling into ourselves as to what we would like that story to be. Do we want it to be a horror story? Do we want it to be a thriller? Do we want it to be a romance? Do we want it to be sci-fi? Do we want it to be fantasy? Or do we just want a documentary? Do we want true tales? We have the ability to create whatever story we want. And that's where the manifestation comes in and the ability to manifest. And this is what the energy around the solar eclipse is about tomorrow, is that that heightens our ability to actually manifest the world that we would like to inhabit. So the scenes that we're walking into, we can actually create and help manifest our connections with actors and actresses that will support our narrative to support the story we would like to bring in of a fifth dimension of a harmonious world that we're living in but it's remembering that we're sovereign it's remembering that we are the ones we are the playwright we are the writers of our own story and i think that's where the coffin comes in it's letting go that it's somebody else's fault, it's somebody else's directing, it's um, somebody else is putting um, words into my mouth, there's somebody else who's um, directing and is the playwright, and, and that's not true. We are the playwright. We have got the power to create our own stories and manifest the world that we would like, but when we're doing that what we're unaware of is that we're actually taking on so we've we've got familiar in our story in our narrative up to now with certain elements that we expect to come in that we we only expect money to come in if we've worked hard for it or we've had blood sweat and tears that um, if things are going really well then something has to come up to counterbalance that, that something's got to go wrong. And it's that real gut and real sort of unconscious state that we have within that this expectation is if everything's going right, there's got to be something that's going to go wrong. It's only, we can only create wealth and health um, if we've worked hard for it or we've taken ourselves to the extreme and this card the the coffin is to really let us know that it doesn't have to be like that we don't have to manifest with strings attached there doesn't have to be conditions going back to the star card and very much in our sacral space where we create the world that we're walking into create the world and the landscape that we're inhabiting we are the playwright, so we are able to put out and manifest supporting actors, supporting companions to walk our story together in a way that benefits us. And we can actually create then that we're going to get abundance without killing ourselves, that it doesn't have to be hard work 
to, to get to where we want to go, that actually we can flow really easily. We can actually find that bliss point or in that now moment that will just take us from that thing to the next thing to the next thing and it all connects the dots that creates this beautiful picture, creates the story. But we need to be aware of which story we are trying to tell. What is the underlying principle? What have we taken on? Have we taken on that there's a thrill a minute, that it's going to be a Charles Dickens book where it's a hard knock story all the way through before you actually gain some wealth or insight by the end of it? We have that much power in our own lives, but we keep being told that we don't. And that's the key. That's the trick. And we can actually play with that and really engage and find joy even in the darker moments. So which brings me on to the moon. So the moon is around dreams and aspirations and it's really checking into what are we dreaming? What world are we dreaming about in creating? Are we really dreaming for a harmonious world or have we got a secret desire that we want to be better than other people? It's really being honest with ourselves and using the moon's rays. So like in that full moon energy a couple of weeks ago, we're using the moon's rays to really have a look at our motives and understand how we're character driven, understand the basis for how we're moving forward and really being honest with ourselves because... We don't have to go tell our stories to other people, but we need to honestly look at ourselves, understand our motivations, understand what's driving us forward, understand what's making us feel stuck, understanding why we're fearful about things, understand all aspects of ourselves, have a full picture of our story so that we can actually break the cycle, break the chains of those elements that are creating pain, hurt, um, fear, stress. And doing it with loving kindness though, it's not a, it's not to tell us off, it's not to be critical of ourselves, it's to actually utilise the moon's rays, have a look at it with unconditional love and real understanding that there were times when we couldn't see, that we weren't able to know the full picture, we didn't know the full story. But this is an idle opportunity before going into tomorrow's um, solar eclipse energy to truly understand our motivation, what makes us tick, why do we keep choosing a certain pattern of behaviour, is it now time to let that go and fully embrace that power of manifestation to actually create the world that we deserve, that we desire, that we would like to inhabit, we'd love to inhabit. But again, remembering that we are the narrator, the director, the lead of our story and noticing how that actually correlates with the people around us. Are the people around us supportive of the world that we're trying to create of the story that we're narrating or are they coming in to hack it to pieces are they um, editing it in a way that doesn't fit for us that doesn't feel comfortable and then actually understanding that we have the power to step away from them that we can actually disconnect from their energy actually change the way that we are with them so that we can actually continue to support and nurture our starring role in our own play and in our own world. So that's what's come out with this particular story today. I'm going to just see what sound, energy sound comes through to add to it. <laughs> oh.
thank you very much for joining me all the way through. I'm hoping that you've enjoyed today's storytelling. Um, it had its ups and downs, I think. Um, if you haven't already, would you mind hitting that subscribe button? And if you feel drawn to having an individual storytelling, I do do them. Um, just follow the links at the bottom of the description box. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your time. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Love you all. Bye for now.